and welcome to this Tango video tutorial about technique of the walk and projection. If we walk in Tango technique, we always want to open our hips a little bit. We just recorded another video for you where we have this outside rotation in our arms. So uh, we recommend you start with this video and uh, after, let's just repeat this exercise. So I put my palms down, I release them, and when I lift them, I rotate my arms outwards. And this is the same that I want to do now with my legs. So when I do the projection, it's not just like flat forward or flat to the side, but I open. And I not only open to one side, but I open also the hip, of the standing leg and uh, if I do so my projection will be in one direction and not diagonal so either forward or for this track backward to uh, develop the feeling for this I propose that you put yourself comfortably in a forward step and uh, with the arms you can have a neutral position and you start to open and you feel how this is also arriving to your pelvis and you can ah, release again and find this position and grow again to reach this one change the leg and uh, for me it's very interesting i can create this openness from the ribcage. So the ribcage uh, with the rotation of my arms is inspiring the pelvis or later I could also have it more I think about opening the hips for this and it will have an effect on my embrace. So the whole body is connected and uh, yeah afterwards it doesn't matter if you think more from top down or from your center up. Now we want to practice the projection. So the same that we had before, we do a forward projection, a side projection and a back projection. We would like you to very small search also a little bit of this expansion in the rest of your body so that the movement is not isolated just to your legs but that in your whole body it's not like a, a clown that you amplify and uh, exaggerate the movement a lot but that there's a little bit of the movement also in your embrace let's uh, do this once together so i start forward on the left i compress first a little bit and I open both sides, left and right. I close them and by that I call it back. I open and I call them back. I open, rotate outward, rotate in, change the side and rotate outward, come back, rotate and close, rotate and close. As before, if you have such a device at home, a Pilates circle, it can be very useful that when you have this part of the projection and you open, that you don't exaggerate too much. So it keeps you focused and it will keep also here the shoulder blades activated one more time, the forward projection. So here, ta, and you close, sigh, and you close again, rotate back, back, yes, and change the side forward and back, lateral and back, rotate and close the hip. So we are thinking of rotating the hip outward and closing it again. Um, now put it back again. So let's now practice the walk, two, three steps forward. We start uh, with the left side, so we transfer the weight to the right, we compress a little bit, close the hip, and we start to open. When we reach the maximum, I start to close, 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 and by that the collect is happening. And I 
open again and I close. Now we don't run into each other and we go back back and we arrive close the hip and open again and close it. One more time. Um, let's do half a step and here. Very often this is uh, done very quickly and by that you fall into your next step. Here I want that you really consciously close, close, close and keep the contact with the floor and by that you become more stable. First it's a little bit more <laughs> challenging but then you will become more stable and you can control this arrival and you reach a better position afterwards to continue. So now let's take the other side, uh, right side, put your weight on the left and again I arrive, I close the hip collect and we arrive and second step and back ba, close the hip and open and close again remember we want to open to both sides so that we don't uh, turn the pelvis to one side the pelvis is looking into the direction of our partner right. now let's do this with your partner we start in open embrace so when you do the preparatory step, you compact yourself and then continuously open and release. And open the hip and release. Open the hip and release. Open the hip and release. Uh, now let's do the same four steps, but the follower is leading. So I copy her with what she's doing with the pelvis if she's closing. If she's rotating open, tack, 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 and finish. Once you feel comfortable, you can switch to close and brace. And now I take back the lead. So on my impulse, when I start to grow, she's growing and opening, rotating her hip as well. One more time, so I release, open the hip, da, da, da. When we dance, we have a um, choice to be made. Do we go for more fluidity or do we go for more control? Both at the same time usually doesn't work. And uh, if we don't control the movement, once we start, we continue in the direction. If we haven't worked our walk properly, we will start to accelerate each time. Especially in close embrace, you will arrive faster. If we control every movement a lot, it will become very much like a robot movement and you will maybe miss kind of the musicality because the tango is coming in waves. So what you already saw before when we were dancing close embrace was that you can combine these two that there is a trade-off between the controlling through the rotation of the hip and the releasing through the closing and establishing the bigger wave in a total. Let's do it one more time. So we start changing the weight. To the other side. I compress. We hope this video was useful for you and inspired you to practice the walk a little bit more. The more you practice the walk, the more you will enjoy dancing on the milongas because uh, walking in different colors in close embrace is the most beautiful thing that we have in tango. And if we play with this, all the transitions can be now filled with different colors and uh, you will not need uh, 
you will not feel the urge to move as much as you might have felt it before, now that you can play with more or less rotation of the hip. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.